everyone i hope i'm audible and visible to all my dear students can you all give me a quick thumbs up uh, all of you welcome in the next session uh just give me a thumbs up if you all can hear me and my audio video is all fine can you give me a quick thumbs up very nice amazing all my dear students so welcome in the next session of dermatology with me dr cheshta agarwal now we have an amazing offer for all of you which is only for two days that is for tomorrow and day after tomorrow if you use my code cheshta10 you will get 20% discount on an academy subscriptions on all an academy subscriptions so please unlock this uh, new offer which is only for 2 days i think uh, this is uh, the first time we are giving this offer of having a 20% discount on all the an academy subscriptions it's my humble request to all of you those who are interested in taking an academy subscription take a shorter subscription of uh, you know uh, you can take a short subscription and get a 20% discount when you use my code now congratulations to all our uh, learners who have cleared their fmg exam uh, the list for the month of january was this and uh, we will be soon updating the new list for the month of february we have two type of subscriptions one is plus which give you an access to an academy live classes and we have iconic which give you an access to both an academy and prep ladder together we do have a lot of live special classes these are the free classes we have a highly effective question bank of 25000 plus questions we have a feature which is known as a raise a hand feature so if you have any doubt you can just raise your hand and ask your doubt now new batches which have started recently is the target neat pg batch and mcq discussion batch as well as <clears throat> neat pg ultra fast revision i request all my dear students to kindly use this code cheshta10 and get your subscription today now you will use a two month subscription which is a very very important or a high yield subscription uh, because here in this two month you can actually join all these batches uh, which is for the rapid rapid revision i will be the part of dermatology in this quick sessions so requesting all of you to please be a part of it okay ji so let us start with the today's first questions we have some high probability questions for everyone uh, they are assertion reason based type questions mainly from the mycobacterial infections mainly are keeping the patient into lepromatous pole where you have diffuse disease okay now the next very important point am i audible to all of you am i audible to all of you ठीक है गुड एंड नाउ हियर स्लिट स्किन स्मियर इज एक्चुअली व्हेन यू डू अ सैंपल और व्हेन यू व्हेन यू जस्ट टेक अ स्मॉल सैंपल फ्रॉम द स्किन टिश्यू फ्लूइड एंड यू पुट अ स्मियर ऑन अ ग्लास लाइट एंड यू पुट एसिड फास्ट बैसिलाय और एसिड फास्ट स्टेनिंग टू लुक फॉर बैसिलाय इन टीटी लेप्रोसी बिकॉज़ द इम्यूनिटी इज सो स्ट्रांग द एसिड फास्ट बैसिलाय इज नॉट सीन एंड दैट इज व्हाई इट इज नेगेटिव द रीजन इज बिकॉज़ इट इज अ पॉसि बैसिलरी टाइप ऑफ लेप्रोसी now few questions which you can expect from the same topic is how to do a slit skin smear so we take minimum four sites according to who three or four sites should be chosen uh, one is right ear forehead chin buttock and if there is any active plaque you can even choose that active plaque for collecting the sample now what do you do uh, let me just uh, elaborate this i don't know why this image got so small so <clears throat> i think now it becomes very uh, visible to you so what you do with the help of index finger and thumb you will pinch the skin to make it avascular with the help of the scalpel you will actually make a nick and you will scrape the margins of that nick so so that we are actually collecting the tissue fluid and we are spreading it onto the glass slide we are spreading it onto the glass slide so this is a very very important method of performing a test now here what are we doing the smear which we got we actually stain it with the help of zn stain where we are putting carbol fustian followed by heat and acid alcohol and then we are using a counter stain which is methylene blue because the acid fast bacilli are resistant to decolorization they retain the color of the primary stain that is pink and rest everything becomes blue so i hope in this image you can see very beautifully the long uh, cylinder like thin uh, uniformly stained bacilli which is present clear hai all of you can you give me a quick thumbs up if this question is clear so this is how an acid fast bacilli look like but yes in tuberculoid pole because of good cmi you rarely see any acid fast bacilli but towards lepromatous pole because cmi is poor you see a lot of bacilli in this let's move to the next question marzina kiran i hope i am audible and visible
चेक द एम डी स्केड्यूल इन एडल्ट डेप्रेसी एंड मार्क द करेक्ट ऑप्शन This question I have given you so many times, uh, you know, like I think now I I also remember the answer. So can you tell me what is it? Rifampicin 600 mg once in a month supervised. Clofazamine 300 mg once in a month supervised. Depson 50 mg once a day unsupervised. Or clofazamine 50 mg once a day unsupervised. Which of the following is the <coughs> correct answer of this question? Okay, ji. Now this is a question where the answer is option number one, B, A, B, and D because clofazamine, uh, sorry, uh, not A, B, and D. These are right. The incorrect statement is option number C because we give hundred mg of Depson every day in a adult patient while we give fifty mg in a pediatric age group. Now for giving the MDT, WHO have classified the leprosy patient into two group. Possibility means skin lesions. They are uh, one to five. Nerve is present, and if it is present, it is single plus or it is negative. For possi, it should be more than five. Smear should be positive or nerve if present, it should be more than equals to two plus. Okay. In both the groups, we give same combination: rifampicin once in a month, six hundred mg; clofazamine three hundred mg once in a month. And 50 mg daily, and Depson 100 mg daily. So that is the sequence. The only difference in POSI and multi is the duration. The only difference in POSI and multi is the duration. Very very important for everyone. Next, so how does the blister packet looks like? Uh, can you see this? So you have a blister packet which consists of two strips. This small strip has to be taken in front of the healthcare facility. these two are rifampicin and the smaller ones are clofazamine this is depson so when this small strip is taken the remaining strip is given to the patient so that he can take it in front of the healthcare worker and when the next month the patient will come the remaining packet uh, the empty packet will be shown to the healthcare worker and he will be provided with the next new step <coughs> moving to the next question on your computer screen Lepromin test is positive in tuberculoid leprosy, and the reason lepromin detect a T cell immune status in leprosy. Which of the following is the correct answer? Anyone can tell me the answer here? Very nice. Now, lepromin test is positive. First of all, you should know what is the lepromin test, and then only you will able to answer the remaining question. So, lepromin test is an intradermal test, which is actually a hypersensitivity reaction. So, intradermal means it is type four hypersensitivity reaction. and type 4 hypersensitivity reaction is only when you have a good cmi so just think and tell me where will be the lepromin test negative tuberculoid or lepromatous bowl yes because cmi is strongly positive it will be negative towards the to uh, it is it will be negative towards the lepromatous pole and it will be positive towards the tuberculoid pole so lepromatous pole it will be negative because cmi is absent ठीक है एंड इट इज पॉजिटिव टुवर्ड्स दी ट्यूबर क्यूलोइड पोल आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो इफ यू रीड दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज पॉजिटिव इन ट्यूबर क्यूलोइड द रीजन इज बिकॉज़ वी हैव अ गुड सेल म्यूटेटेड इम्यूनिटी एंड द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन बिकम्स ऑप्शन नंबर 1 इज दिस क्लियर किरण डॉक्टर प्रिया मर्जीना ऑल ऑफ यू सो वी हैव टू टाइप ऑफ लेप्रोमिन टेस्ट अर्ली वन इज नोन एज फर्नांडेस which occurs within 48 hours and the late one is known as mistuda which occurs in 4 weeks how to remember so just remember fernandes f and it is fast it occurs within 48 hours while mistuda is a little later reaction which takes around 4 weeks for its completion next uh, is in your uh, next question is on your screen 45 year old male had multiple hypoesthetic mildly erythematous large plaques with elevated margin which of the following is the correct answer which of the following is the correct answer 
anyone can tell me the answer <clears throat> 45 year old male had multiple hypoesthetic mildly erythematous large plaques with elevated margins on the trunks and extremity his ulnar and lateral popliteal nerve on the right sides were enlarged which of the following is the most probable diagnosis what is the correct answer please remember the answer to this question is borderline lepromatous leprosy now how to solve these questions this is very very important for everyone okay how to solve these questions this is very very important now please have a look how these questions are solved so you need to have an empty paper for having a look on these questions uh, okay just give me a second whenever they give you question related to the clinical features of leprosy always divide them whether they have given few in number or multiple in number okay if they write few it can be either tt or bt how to differentiate between two for bt they will mention something related to satellite lesions okay while in tt you will have uniform plaque without any mention for satellite lesions if it is multiple it could be bb that is borderline uh, borderline borderline lepromatous and lepromatous leprosy how to differentiate in borderline borderline we will see asymmetrical lesions more towards one side more on the left side more on the right side while for bl and ll you will get in history symmetrical lesions both bl and ll bilaterally it is uniform and symmetric but the question is how to differentiate between bl and ll how to differentiate between these two please remember if they write that there is hypoesthesia over the plaque it has to be bl while in lepromatous leprosy because the uh, nerves are not damaged you will not see any loss of sensation over the plaque you can see glove and stocking type of uh, loss of sensation but over the plaque there will be no hypoesthesia i request all of you to please try solving this question again use the same formula which i have told you just now kiran dr priya marzina try to do it again and tell me what is the correct answer now 45 year old patient with multiple lesion so if they are telling multiple we can easily rule out tt and bt so borderline leprosy can be ruled out and bt sorry not borderline uh the borderline tuberculoid can be ruled out easily by reading multiple in this question i hope everyone agrees with me second thing is they have given that they are present uh on the trunk and extremities they have not mentioned whether it is present more on the left side or on the right side and that is why we are uh, assuming that it is symmetrical bilaterally it is symmetrical bilaterally so we are ruling out the borderline because in borderline it is asymmetrical now the question is whether it is lepromatous or borderline lepromatous so please read the question it says multiple hypoesthetic patches and if it is hypoesthetic we are ruling out lepromatous leprosy the correct answer becomes option number 4 is this clear can i get a quick thumbs up from all of you all my dear students fatafat se dr priya marzina kiran can you give me a quick thumbs up if this is clear chalo so we have leprosy uh, which has uh, varied presentations so we have uh, tt which has very few lesions compared to ll where we have diffuse infiltration uh, in bb which is a mid line we have a very characteristic uh, plaque which is known as inverted saucer shaped lesions with sloping outer edge and perpendicular inner edge next question is on your screen a 6 year old child from tamil nadu presents with solitary anesthetic patches on the face the possible diagnosis would be the possible diagnosis would be the possible diagnosis would be pityriasis alba indeterminate leprosy pityriasis versicolor or tinea infection 6 year old child from tamil nadu with a solitary anesthetic patch on the face possible diagnosis anyone very nice all of you the correct answer here is indeterminate type of leprosy now what happens in a patient uh, who has a strong family history of leprosy if he presents to you with an ill defined patch and there is anesthesia over the patch think about some indeterminate forms and this is a case of indeterminate leprosy you will start the patient uh, on the anti leprosy medicines you can give a possibility type of uh, therapy here next question 
फेवरेट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एग्जामिनर सो मेनी टाइम्स दिस ईयर ऑल्सो नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वी हैड अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन हैड अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन प्लीज टेल मी द आंसर Twenty-seven year old patient was diagnosed to have a borderline leprosy and was started on multi-basilary MDT. Six week later, he developed pain in the nerves, redness, swelling of the skin. The management of his illness should include all of the following except. The management should include all of the following except. Very nice, all of you. Very well done. The correct answer is. you will never stop anti leprosy medicine you will keep on giving anti leprosy medicine you can add corticosteroids you can add analgesic or rest to the limb but never stop anti leprosy drug because it is seen that if you stop anti leprosy medication it can even cause exacerbation of the lepra reaction whether you have why uh, but why corticosteroids see this is an inflammatory reaction even though it is an infective condition but the reason for development of the uh, lepra reaction is sudden increase in the inflammatory response so for taking a quick action you have to give corticosteroids systemically otherwise those inflammatory reaction can cause different type of presentations clear all of you theek hai uh, so very nice all of you i hope you have understood with this we are done with the today's session it was a very brief session uh now tomorrow i think we don't have any class because it is a, a weekend and now we have a class uh, on monday or tuesday uh i request all my dear students to please join the youtube channel that is let's crack neat pg you can also join the telegram group the name is same let's crack neat pg please join this group to get all the notifications of the upcoming classes uh you can also take an academy subscription using this code cheshta10 please give me a thumbs up if you like the classes which i take and please uh, press the bell icon so that you get all the notification of my classes in the end i just want to update all of you i just want to update everyone that we have an offer going on that is only for tomorrow and day after tomorrow that if you get an academy subscription using the code cheshta10 you will get 20% discount offer valid only for to to tomorrow and day after tomorrow So thank you all of you good